ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਜੋ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਇਸ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਵਚਨਬੱਧਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਜ਼ਾਹਿਰ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਕਿ ਸਾਊਦੀ ਕ੍ਰਾਊਨ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਬਿਨ ਸਲਮਾਨ ਨਾਲ ਹੋਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਮਾਲ ਖਸ਼ੋਗੀ ਦੇ ਕਤਲ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨਗੇ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਨੇ ਇਜ਼ਰਾਈਲ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਮਨੁੱਖੀ ਅਧਿਕਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਰੱਖਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਪਰ ਖਸ਼ੋਗੀ ਤੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਰੁਖ ਸਪਸ਼ਟ ਹੈ ਜੇਕਰ ਕੋਈ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਊਦੀ ਅਰਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਮਝਦਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਛਾਣਦੇ। And thanks to many months of quiet diplomacy by the staff, we've accomplished some significant business today. First, as you saw this morning, the Saudis will open their airspace to all civilian carriers. That is a big deal. A big deal. Not only substant not only symbolically, but substantively it's a big deal. It means Saudi airspace is now open to flights to and from Israel. This is the first tangible step on the path of what I hope will eventually be a broader normalization of relations. Third, we agreed to work together to deepen and extend the Yemen ceasefire. And you know there's been this carnage been in Yemen of late. And it's been in place more than 3 months, resulting in the most peaceful period in Yemen in 7 years. We further agreed to pursue a diplomatic process to achieve a wider settlement in Yemen. The Saudi and Saudi leadership also committed to continue to facilitate the delivery of food and humanitarian goods to civilians. In this context, we discussed Saudi Arabia's security needs <coughs> to defend the kingdom given very real threats from Iran and Iran's proxies. Finally, we discussed human rights and the need for political reform. As always as I always do I made clear that the topic is vitally important to me and to the United States with respect to the murder of Khashoggi I raised it at the top of the meeting making it clear what I thought of it at the time and what I think of it now and it was exactly I was straightforward and direct in discussing it I made my view crystal clear I said very straightforwardly for an American president to be silent on an issue of human rights is this consistent with inconsistent with who we are and who I am I'll always stand up for our values more with nine leaders from around the region we'll have more one thing we will discuss is the multi billion dollar commitment of the GCC to invest in the partnership for global infrastructure investment which I announced at the G7 last month to help address infrastructure needs of low middle income countries who don't have the wherewithal to borrow the funds to meet the needs of their people and after years of failed efforts we have now finalized an agreement to connect Iraq's electric grid to the GCC grids through Kuwait and Saudi Arabia and deepening Iraq's integration into the region and reducing its dependence on Iran the bottom line is this trip is about once again positioning America in this region for the future we are not going to leave a vacuum in the middle east for Russia or China to fill 